Well, Tammy, the good news is the weather held out for them. Oh, it wasn't raining today. No, it was dry. Oh, no, yeah. Tomorrow, yeah. Well, like tomorrow evening, tomorrow night yeah. will be not so nice out there. And it's warm, too. Yes. You liking that? The plants are all popping. Yours? Yeah. My nose is running. Yeah. yeah it's too. just these it's allergies. In his, it's in his eyes up yeah. close. Oh. You're a trooper. He's a trooper. I try. All right. Let's go ahead. Let's take a look at what's going on down the boards. Look at those clouds. Yeah, they're coming. Yeah, they are. That, that means something's it, heading it, our it way. Means, oh, you have been listening. I too. did, and I didn't go to meteorological school. Oh, my God. And you you even said that word correctly. I am just so <laughs> impressed. It's a big long word. Okay. Uh, yeah, we do have some clouds that uh, are moving across the area. We do have a system that is passing by. A lot of that rain staying to the north of us. So here is what you need to know. We could see a shower tonight or tomorrow. A better chance moving in tomorrow. But gusty storms are going to be possible tomorrow night with some locally heavy rain. So please be aware of that. And then we'll see some clearing this weekend. Sunday will be the nicer of the two days. Right now, outside, you can see a little sunshine, a little bit of shadow activity on the ground. So it is a high, milky overcast that we're dealing with. 66 in Philadelphia, 68 in Wildwood, and 54 right now at Mount Pocono. So temperatures are just a little above average. Here's a look at the rain that has stayed to the north. Again, a spotty sprinkle is going to be possible today. A better chance moves in later this afternoon as we watch this next batch of activity making its way through West Virginia ahead in our direction. And then we actually focus even further to the south. We do have more activity that's making its way through Tennessee. And then the main body of this system is bringing severe weather to the deep south, to places like Louisiana and on over into uh, Mississippi and Alabama. In fact, tornadoes, long track, very strong tornadoes are expected where you see that red and orange. Now, tomorrow that threat is going to move north. Looks like Pittsburgh could be looking at the potential of tornadoes and damaging wind. We, part of our area, maybe some damaging winds. Because this moves in tonight, that will be a limiting factor, but we do have to watch to see if this green moves and crosses the whole area. My experience says it typically does, but we'll wait and see, and we could see that damaging wind threat tomorrow night. Also, we are under a flash flood risk. It's a level two, but that heavy rain from the I-95 corridor north and west could fall an inch, maybe two inches, and the ground is saturated, so we don't need more. Here's what's going to happen. We're going to see, again, a spotty shower, four o'clock today. Not a real big deal. Some breaks in the cloud cover, a little sunshine. You wake up tomorrow morning, a spotty shower is out there. Then we go into tomorrow afternoon. I do think we see a bit more activity than this, spotty shower activity through the evening. Things start to really get busy tomorrow night. We see this batch of very very heavy rain moving through. At this point, it's Philadelphia south and east, and then another line coming through Philadelphia as we move into the wee hours of Friday. Friday, spotty showers out there, and then look at what happens. The whole thing starts to clear out for the weekend, maybe even a little wraparound snow up into the Poconos. So here's what we're looking at. 74 degrees today. Again, we're going to see that hazy sunshine out there and a spotty shower. We're going to see the clouds. We're going to see that rain moving in, especially tomorrow night with some thunderstorms. 65 on Friday, a spotty shower. It'll be rather windy. And then the weekend starts improving. 61 Saturday as we start to clear out. But look at Sunday. And yes, I threw up an 80 on the board cool. for Monday. We might even get to 80, Jim. Thank you, Tammy. Appreciate it.